what's going on guys just here to give you a quick uh, call to subscription please do subscribe hit the bell and share many people that are viewing the channel presently have not yet subscribed uh, owing to the fact that we have many numbers on our videos and few numbers on our subscriptions also I know you enjoy the show we do too uh, see you on the other side elections in America but for us who we'll support Donald Trump and on that call we will contribute $1,000 to the Donald Trump campaign and fundraising team. We want to be part of it. We want America to be great so that the world will be great again. We don't want this confusion which is happening in Africa. We don't want this confusion which is happening in the world. We want this world to be peaceful so that we can stay as human beings. And the only person who can do that is President Donald Trump. I really wanted it to make that sound. You know, there's that sound that it used to make when I pour with the plunger, that... Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it doesn't. It's not making the sound <laughs> No, it doesn't. It's not making... <laughs> it's so quiet, silent pouring of coffee. Coffee is important for you in the morning. Uh, don't take it after 12 or else it will stay in your system for up to 10 hours and you will not sleep and whatnot. But given that we have load shedding, uh, no, actually, you need to sleep early since we have load shedding, so there's nothing to do at night. <laughs> yeah, that was Mr. Bowman Lusambo <laughs> talking about their support for Donald Trump. <laughs> I found that funny. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, now think about that for a moment. That was a minister. Yes. Uh, that was a member of parliament. <laughs> think about that for a moment. I know, it was like a joke, eh? Yeah. Was he, was he being serious? Yeah, he was serious. That was a serious press briefing. Who was he addressing? I the me he called the media. He does that a few times. I think that's his <laughs> home. Every now and then he yeah. just calls the media just to update them on what's going on. Eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, uh the US does not uh, allow foreign uh, donations, right? Yes. To campaigns. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know when I was getting my uh when I was getting my update this morning, uh, uh, I saw that Okay. I was oh, oh US. Okay. So I didn't connect the two. Now I now it just oh, hit okay. me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the US does not. Yeah. No, nah, because they are so serious with uh, meddling in their elections. Ah. Yeah. Maybe that's what Russia did to warrant that suspicion. This seriously mm. tastes like decaf. What's decaf? Coffee without caffeine. Oh. Yeah, and it like defeats the whole purpose. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are welcome like to our... Caffeine, is it? Oh, yeah, we're looking for <laughs> caffeine. We want to be... Yeah. <laughs> you guys are welcome to Amazing Minds, Zambia's first late night show. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the bell and share. The show is available twice a week, uh, ideally Mondays and Fridays. 22 hours Central African time, and the podcast is available on Spotify. 20 hours Central African time. Yeah, Spotify. Uh, yeah, ideally Mondays and Fridays, but 
Zesco, Zesco, Zesco. They decide when the show airs. <laughs> really. <laughs> How are you yeah. doing, sir? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, bless young man. As always. I'm here with Mr. Chofaya. Yeah, sincerely. Aha, <laughs> black belt. Black belt, eh, mushipi. Udia wine wakanya. Atu wera angara no mwana wabamu nye nyembe. That's what they used to tell us when we were kids. Udia <laughs> bad influence. Eh, bad influence. Haka kona ula. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think about the US elections now? Uh, I've got a feeling that you you are a Trump sympathizer. <laughs> sympathizer, supporter. Uh, I want to say supporter, but uh, given that you are in Zambia, uh, yeah, sympathizer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, maybe you are M- maybe Bom- oh, maybe yeah, Bowman. Maybe Bowman is a, yeah. Sean Tembo. Bowman is what? I am. Bowman is a Trump supporter. No, you and Bowman are in the same league. We are both sympathizers. In fact, at Bo- least he is trying fact, to find a way to no, actually, compromise Bowman, the election. Bowman is here. You are here. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, I, I I think I know more details. That <laughs> you see, Bowman thinks he can send a thousand dollars to Trump's campaign. <laughs> Why is that attended? Uh, I know, right? That thousand dollars is uh, yeah. going to be very helpful in Zambia here. Yeah, That's exactly. like uh, 20, 27, 25, 26, yeah. 26, yeah. yeah, Trump uh, Trump's campaign. I don't think they need that money. I know Especially they from uh, a. An asshole country. You remember that word? Oh, yeah, used? yeah, yeah. Did he really say that? He yeah, did? he did. He did, eh? Yeah. No, no, we forgive him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now it has taken a new twist now. We have Harris. The last week when we were recording, there was just... Uh, we were still waiting for Biden to it come was, out of It was actually... It was actually... The same day. The same day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, was it the day we aired the show? No. It was the day that we recorded, actually. Oh, yeah. So, uh, guys, we do pre-record these, Zesco and whatnot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, but we have said yeah, it before. Say, yeah, we, yeah, we pre-record these, Zesco and whatnot, but we'll get back to live recording when mm. uh, things stabilize, when we're out of the time of trouble. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Kamala, or as they say in America, Kamala. Kamala. Kamala Harris. Mm. Oh, in Kamala. She, wasn't she born here or something? <laughs> no, but she lived here, I heard. She lived here, right? Yeah. Uh, you yeah. see what I always say mm. about Zambia and the end times? We are a part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, do catch Bible Talks. Uh, Fridays, ideally, but whenever the score pleases. 22 yeah. hours Central African time. And you can check out what we have done already so far. Yeah, so I do think Trump still has a good chance of winning. Mm. Yeah, he still has a good chance, but the dynamics have shifted. The dynamics have shifted. I think he needs to put more effort into exactly. campaigning yeah. now. Yeah. The previous uh, opponent, or ah, that was easy. Yeah, that was like he didn't. In fact, after the assassination attempt, it was almost like they had yeah. to. Cl- they had to just close campaigns for the. At yeah. that point, they had to wait. Yeah, People exactly. were even suggesting. Can Trump move into White House in advance because he needs to start changing things fast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now at least that uh, they have this uh, uh, Biden bowing out, at least we have something to talk about with the Democrats. Yeah. yeah. Also, let's not forget that she's not yet nominated. Of course, be, yeah, yeah. She's just a presumptive nominee. Exactly. Yeah. Who has been, for lack of a better term, installed <laughs> by Biden, which is cheating. Oh, like uh, but Trump as well was somehow just uh, put there, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. he was also a presumptive. But, uh, no, but we, for, we, for we for that we forgive him. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, my I, I also uh, I also thought like uh, I had a soft spot for Trump yeah. before the Kamala Harris thing because of course. So you Joe have Biden, a softer Joe spot, Biden. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> he will no, be so upset when he realizes he quit. <laughs> he didn't realize it. <laughs> yeah. But also, it's interesting because uh, why did he uh, why did he bow out? Did they give it, a it, it? No, he did not. He just said it's time for young blood, young uh, younger generation to take. Okay. He did not mention his health. He did okay. not mention uh, where he is. He okay. did. He also did not mention whether he knew what has been going on. <laughs> uh, quite frankly, we haven't seen him afterwards. Oh, I saw him. Yeah. Yeah, there was Kamala. one appearance. Oh, not uh, oh, sorry, Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> You have jokes, eh? Oh, <laughs> you have jokes. Yeah, but then, by the way, the video that I saw, I saw two videos. One, he was uh, boarding an aircraft. Yeah. Another one, he was sort of coming out of a, uh, a certain building, like uh, coming on the Paviranda. And Paviranda. Paviranda, Kutia, Pocheva, Press. Yeah, in the second one, I'm trying to, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think about which Paviranda this was. Pa White House? Uh, not, in Pa White House. I think White House. Okay, in White House. 
Uh, but he looked taller than usual. Yeah? Yeah, and a lot of people were talking about that. Actually. Yeah, people have been talking about how Biden is not really Biden and whatnot. There's, mm. there's all this stuff that people say. They said it about Jamie Foxx as well. Uh, were you aware that Jamie Foxx was hospitalized? Yeah, yeah, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. so they, ca- they kept on saying things like uh, he was cloned. And people say those kinds of things. They say that about Kanye West as well. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the thing is that it's easy right now to like make a probe or something like that. You can make a Biden. Yeah? yeah. Plastic surgery? Exactly. Not just plastic surgery. There are those masks, the plastic ones. Uh, yes. You think they can do that? Of course. I'm not saying they did it. It's very possible. It's possible. Eh? Yes. Wow. Someone once said the world you think you live in is not the world that is actually. Probably, yes. You know, yes. because they are, they are pieces we think are like this when they're actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Ah, that's yeah. crazy. Interestingly, I was actually telling someone yesterday almost those same words. Hmm. Yeah, who mentioned something like, ah, uh, during PF, I'm a Chinese with a good drum. Uh, per month at least, so I pass up some contract. <laughs> when the dollar deal carriage way, when I pass up my Chinese. Thank you very my much. My Chinese, I got think I'm a contract. My the other I day I was going through, um, uh, what do you call this road? Uh, Ring road? Mm-hmm. Not that we have any problem with the Chinese, by the way. Yeah, no, 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 no. We, we know have... they come for the same thing. The Chinese, the Wazungus, they're the same. Exactly. We love Cho, Cho, Li. Yeah, so, Zaki uh, <laughs> Chans and whatnot. Where I was going through Ring Road the other day, and I I realized they're working on it. Mm-hmm. Roma has it. Uh, the government instructed trade kings to do it because mm. it's their tracks that pass through that road and they've been okay. the ones damaging it. So I, I, I hear mm. that trade kings are the ones that are reconstructing the road and are okay. the ones that uh, uh, gave out a tender. You know, mm. trade kings have grown so big that they are able to uh, give out a road contract. But oh, anyway. But if they are the ones paying for it, then it's okay. Yeah, no, no, no. That, that's a good thing for okay. me. Yeah, that, of course that, it is. That private thing. companies can give out road yeah. contracts is a good mm. thing. But my point is I was with people in the car and I was like, ah, you see that? Uh-huh. This is a Zambian thing. All we can see is black faces. Okay. And the guys were laughing, ha, 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 because their faces were, their faces were, at, were turned this side okay. and they could see the Chinese guy. Oh, and okay. then, ha, ha, so now I'm looking, I'm trying to, <laughs> and then I look and see the Chinese guy and I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, my, my point to the guy was that, you know, uh, the same thing that you said to say, the Vindvame Moana, it's different from what's really happening. Yeah, there are deals happening. There are, all these things are still happening. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. Mm. Oh, we've done like 10 minutes. <laughs> I guess we have to get on with the show. Today we're discussing a couple of things that happened last week. Uh, we're giving you a part two of the corruption being laid bare. <laughs> so we're discussing corruption in the UPND government being laid bare part two. And then we're talking about the Independent Broadcasting Authority, IBA Director General, who who was murdered. Uh, On a sad note, obviously, um, this was very sad. Uh, We then are going to discuss the cholera volunteers who were promised government jobs, uh, but now in limbo. And another parliamentary seat declared vacant. Yeah, so those are the subjects for today. And once again, I'm here with Mr. Chafaya. Uh, black belts and say what not all these <laughs> titles <laughs> yes are you ready for the show i was born ready uh-huh are you ready for the show <laughs> i was born ready man let's do this love your answer i had to ask you twice <laughs> all right so um mr musa Mwenya, who is the former anti-corruption commission uh, chairperson musa oh 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 <laughs> Musa Mwenye, State Council, <laughs> was the <laughs> former chairperson, who is the former chairperson of the Anti-Corruption Commission, uh, says, I am grateful to the people and the president of the Republic of Zambia for the opportunity to have served as chairman of the Anti-Corruption Commission. When I assumed my office as chairperson of the ACC two years ago, I declared my assets, assets in, acc- in accordance with the law. Mr. Mwenye gave a long uh, write-up where he talked about him having declared his assets and he urges other lawmakers and other people in the public eye to do the same for the sake of transparency, which in my view was a shot at the president. Uh, (laughs) But it's it's, it's an assumption. (laughs) You know, I didn't look at it like that. Yeah. (laughs) And I remember we spoke about this. Just like two shows ago, I think. No, it was the last show actually. Last show, right? We talked about the president uh, having not declared. Yeah. Yeah, And Mr. Musa Mwenye is... is, uh, imploring or it's a clarion call 
to all public officials to declare their assets for the sake of transparency. Mm. At least that's what he said. Yeah. Uh, we know that Mr. Mwenye is no longer um, the chairperson of the Anti-Corruption Commission owing to some writings that were done by a former commissioner, Mr. Kaba, uh, which sparked a couple of investigations, which also spilled into other agencies and whatnot. <laughs> you said a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, the first question I would yeah. have is that, uh, so why are we relating this to uh, uh, Kaba's, uh, Kaba's article? Uh, no, that's, where, Kaba's that's where you come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm asking because, um, you know, this shouldn't be. Yeah. But I think that's what it is. Yeah, uh, of course. These are related. I, I, and I know, you know, like right now, I'm mm. speaking as though they are facts. Uh -huh. When, it, to, to be honest, some of these are my assumptions and opinions, but what we usually do on the show here every now and then, mm. at least not all the time, is piece one and two together. Exactly. We say, ah, <laughs> Commander Two. <laughs> America Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, mm. uh, that they are related, yes. Because, of course, in this long uh, thing that you, you, you talk about, yeah. this uh, Musa Mwenye statement, his posts, he did it on X and also yes. on Facebook. Uh, he actually mentions he that did. Uh, article exactly. Mm. So indeed, they are they are they are related. Though not officially, but they are. Of course, yeah, yes. <laughs> of yeah. Course. And and he also jokingly mentioned that he 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 loved mm -hmm. to have worked with Mr. Kaba. Exactly. Yeah. Of course, he mentioned <laughs> all the all the all the board members. Yeah, and you're talking about one who came in recently. Who unfortunately we didn't get to work together because. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So uh last week I also mentioned that I was disappointed in Musa Mwenye. Mm. Um I don't know. I you know when I was reading this, I was thinking, should I take back my words? Yeah. Should I not? <laughs> yeah, but I don't take back my words because this has come after the fact. Mm. Kaba is the one that we should respect here. Mm. He's the one who spoke when he was still the board member. If the board chair came out and spoke the way that he spoke like this. I think you'd have had more integrity. Yeah. Because now it's like work push and cheat, and then now you're laying it all bare, you know. Yeah, like, I know uh, me. I've gone know. to the I've gone to the chief justice to show him what I have. Exactly. Let's see who else will go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he spoke something very important that um, the they appointed a, a, a direct, not a director general, but uh, management that yes, was user yes, friendly. Yes, 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 yes. That was yes, user yes. friendly. Yeah. So mostly when they say this, they mean. Uh, they put people there who uh, will be covering up corruption. Yeah. So yeah, basically, people who are allegiant. Yes. To the the the, the current. Yes, and he says that uh, there was a time I think for the past year they've been asking for information about cases, and he has not produced that information. The director general. Yeah. So uh, in short, Mr. Musa Mwenye here, state council, says uh, there were a lot of problems at the ACC, between the board and management. Yeah. So it's it's true what we were saying when uh, we heard that uh, the director general, the former director general called a board member after seeing an article. Mm, it's true it. that we are saying that uh, uh, the director general had more power than the people on the board. On the board, which, yeah. shouldn't, the board, on the board, which yeah. shouldn't be the case. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So this is a level of corruption that is still happening right now. Yeah, we can't even say that it's over right now. What do you think should happen to going forward? Yeah, but like oh, you know, do you think they should just like close the building for a while and then like <laughs> begin to re-employ people afresh? You see, that's a good question, uh, and uh, you know, good. Also, questions move I it from Kulima Tower, guys. <laughs> yeah, that. <too. laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, when I say it's a big question, mostly I don't have answers to it because I, I think it's a very serious issue. This corruption issue. And it's been happening since time immemorial. And we need, uh, I feel like we have sufficient laws right now mm. uh, to deal with our current situation. They're not perfect, mm. but I feel like they're sufficient. And we just have people with integrity. We just need people with integrity. Mm. So we need serious men and women. So what we should do immediately, uh, so, you know, in uh, under normal circumstances, I would have been thinking dissolving the board and uh, getting rid of management immediately <clears throat> would be a good thing. So to get new people there and also just uh, uh, sort of push for, for a mindset shift. Mm. Yeah, but uh, that's hard because now I saw that uh, the 
the fact that the board was dissolved is suspicious. Yeah. Because the board member made these revelations. Yeah. And then now they go on. It's like someone blows, someone is a whistleblower, and then you go on and fire them. Mm. I know. Yeah. Everyone, I will win. <laughs> yeah. Out. So, yeah, right now I don't have confidence mm. even in, in even the president because yeah. this is under the president. Yeah. So I don't have uh, any any hope right now. Why why yeah. did he d- d- dissolve the board? <laughs> and you know speaking of confidence in the president and uh, hope and, and the discussion of corruption within the government, we know that uh, which letter we're going to show you later on there have been ministerial changes made by the president, the minister of health, former minister of health, uh, whom we reported on last week, mm. you know, the whole Egyptian scandal, the drugs being held by the Zamsa president in conjunction with unnamed... Uh, Zamsa president was holding... Uh, yeah, okay, so okay. So here's the story. We, we did give some context to it. Um, it seems there was an issue of a bribe offered to the Zamsa president saying the medicine should instead come from a supplier that has been supplying. Wait, sorry. Is it the Zamsa president or Zamsa DJ or something? Yeah, sorry. When I say president, I simply mean the head, the okay. DG, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah so uh, there was there was an issue of a bribe that he accepted, and then uh, in conjunction with the said uh, supplier who has always been supplying, they decided to. All these are alleged, and for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they 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 put the 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 said medicines in a facility called J and J for a lengthy period of time, uh, which profit. Mm, Sichilima later told us about. And what later happened was all this scandal led to the uh, transferring of the Minister of Health from her ministry to a different ministry. I believe Minister of Mines. <laughs> no, why? Minister of Lands, right? Yeah. Yeah, Minister of Lands. Oh, <laughs> Oof. Mines. Minister of Lands. Uh, President Ed Galungu made a post, which I'm going to read for you right now. Uh, this post is actually funny to me mm. coming from a man <laughs> like this one commenting on the FIC trends report like this Yeah, because this man was the president of Zambia yeah. and very soon we'll see how he commented on the FIC report when he was president <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to read good afternoon fellow Zambians on January 10th 2021 then opposition leader now president Haka Indeichidema posted this message below on his Facebook page the sacking of Dr. Chitaruchi Rufia does not go far enough and comes too little, too late. Mr. Lungu knew all along about Dr. Chirufia's corrupt activities at the Ministry of Health, but didn't relieve him of his duties because it benefited him and the entire patriotic front. He didn't have to wait for the Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee to unearth something that was so obvious. We therefore demand that the ACC immediately move in on Dr. Chitaruchirufia, Mr. Lungu should go further and fire Stephen Kampiongo and Kakuma Kanganja, who are equally culpable, like Dr. Chirufia. In the deaths of innocent citizens, we demand justice for the Zambian people now. HH, aka Bad. So Mr. Lungu went ahead, of course, and posted a picture of uh, the, this post by yeah. HH. Of course, as everyone is doing, getting those odd screenshots. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting that uh, Edgar Lungu is talking like this. You know, uh, <clears throat> maybe it comes with age as well because I'm getting tired of Zambian politics. Yeah. Yeah. Because people are seeing this right now. This Edgar Lungu, this page that he's using to post, he abandoned this page. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He did, he did. He oh, by the way, the, the post, the post, he he further went on on the post, right? Or, oh, did or, was, or was this a different post? Uh, it mm. said, fellow citizens, this is July 2024, we have heard and seen reports of massive corruption as evidenced in the Financial Intelligence Center report, whistleblowers, the Parliamentary Accounts Committee report involving his own ministers and other appointees. And we are anxiously waiting for the president to walk his own talk following these revelations. What was not good in his eyes then should not be good in the same eyes now. May God bless Zambia and restore the rule of law. Sooner or later, H. E. Doctor Edgar Chagolungu. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's interesting, you know, uh, very interesting. It's yeah, it's it's strange that he would be speaking this way. Restoration of the rule of law. Mm. Uh, yeah, restoration of the rule of law. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, so I don't know. I think it comes with age, but Mazamian politics. Yeah, so. It comes with age. Eh? Yeah, yeah, because ah. I've seen this before. 
We've seen the way Church was talking. And Ed Galungo, this uh, person, this page that is really that we are reading from, he had deactivated it. Yes. Oh, just after blocking you. Uh, uh, of course. <laughs> I'm still blocked. Yeah. They deactivated it. Why? Because they didn't like what the people were saying. Mm, mm. They ran away. Mm, it was so bad. People were, people 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 were, so, are people were so against. You know, it's like funny how Zambians do a U-turn. Uh, yeah. What they hate today, mm-hmm. just give them a bit, bit of hunger. And, uh, they'll change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we, we've really U-turned, though. Uh, there are a lot of us who are looking at it, getting for who he is. Yeah. yeah, but the returning is not only Zambian. I mean, we are talking about American elections just now. Mm. Uh, you've seen the way the, the thing has shifted, right? Mm. Uh, now people are talking about something else. Yeah. You see, uh, that time we were saying, ah, Trump, I'm going to change my white house. I'm passing to change my kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now, I was, ah, Kamala Harris, let's wait for yeah, the debate. Okay, hello, no, <laughs> let's see the debate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, the, why I feel helpless is because now we are back at this situation. Mm. I thought we got out of this. Mm. I thought the uh, UPND was bad. Yeah. But now UPND in a way, they, they are worse. <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy. Um, when Mr. Lungu was in uh, in power, he was asked about the FIC report and whatnot. Take a look at what he said. <laughs> Ask them which unit did you refer this matter to? Financial intelligence center. This is a revenue matter. What has Kingsley Chandler done? This is a crime by SEC standards. What? That's what you do now. Ed Galung is doing this. This is Kamuka I refuse to be part of this. Fuit, 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 good. Mfuiti, mfuiti. <laughs> the famous mfuiti, <laughs> Oh, crazy. I think yeah. Mr. Lungo had nice responses. And he was always caught at the airport since he didn't do press. Very good. You said it well. <laughs> <laughs> so every time there was some noise in the background. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. An aircraft or something. Yeah. Uh, the famous mfuiti, mfuiti. The famous mfuiti, mfuiti. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, mm. yeah. So, you know, Edgar Lungo was commenting on that because... Uh, he was saying the, the FIC does not release names, so but which is not true. In fact, that was the time we learned that they actually produce a dossier to the president with mm. the names, mm. including to the law enforcement agencies. Mm. Remember, we provided you the one with the names <laughs> two shows ago. Just check two shows ago <laughs> the link. link. <laughs> yeah, we provided you the one with the names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Him to come out like that, that was uh, impunity, impudence. That was uh, arrogance. Mm. Yeah. Like they know that they're doing it. He was just abusing the powers of the president. (laughs) So it's like they know that they're doing it and uh, you can't say anything because you don't understand this thing. Mm. Exactly. And he was telling that to journalists. Yeah. Yeah. People who have got a fair share of information (laughs) (laughs) and information. Yeah. He was generally irritated also because I think they stormed up on him. He and didn't he really like. Guy. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Even the way he ended his statement, Mfuiti, Mfuiti, and then the, he turned away. No fiola. Mfuiti, Mfuiti, good. Yeah. So you the, see how these people change, guy. I at know. His demeanor. Look at his demeanor look now. At him now. Even Bowman. Have you seen how humble Bowman <laughs> looks? Now he's commenting on issues of America. No, we support <laughs> Trump. He's even stopped. Us, we support Donald Trump. Mm, Donald. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald. Trump. <laughs> yeah, so the ACC did tell us that uh, there are some uh, investigations going on we, um, that involve some ministers. So they are probably into... They say ministers. They say sitting government officials. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sitting... I, know, I know you have been influenced by politicians. That's yeah, yeah I'm also, also I'm seeing the... The headline here, it says uh, ministers, government officials under probe um, in a press briefing. Check it out. Uh, Indeed, confirming what Darius uh, asked, investigating some of uh, the sitting government officials. Some of them, yes, we are, and I'm confirming, we are investigating some of those. Some of them, it may be too soon to state that, but we have taken interest so that we can best serve the interests of the of the public and best fight to, uh, corruption together. So I heard her saying government officials. I didn't see her saying ministers, but maybe someone, mm. I heard someone ask something in the background. In the background, and, and they, 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 yes. they kind of clipped that part out. Did you yeah, yeah. did you notice that? Those yes, days? yeah. yeah. yeah um, and then she was heard saying yes. 
So yes, yes, yes. And the headline did say, yeah. uh, Minister. So what we can say is government officials. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because to me, I was avoiding ministers because I, I was thinking this is a political... Not that I, can, we, I would like to shoot any minister. In fact, I would love ministers to be... Uh, their corruption to be laid bare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, because most of them, they are actually culpable without even the uh, investigation, just by seeing what's happening. Yeah. We can tell and say these ones are culpable. Yeah. Just like HH was seeing when I started to here. Mm-hmm. And when, uh, Kanganja. We, we can see, yeah, exactly. and 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 I guess the public clear. does have the right to also say, ah, guys, there's something fishy going on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I just avoided the ministers because I didn't hear, hear, hear saying this. And then, what I, where I heard from, where people were saying ministers, I heard from politicians. From politicians, the eh? thing we are going to see. Here. Yeah, so uh, Diamond TV and the politicians are telling us that ministers <laughs> are under probe, <laughs> and the opposition is requesting for names yeah. to be given. So I'm challenging SEC to name the ministers. If SEC fails to name the ministers, let the president name them. And the, uh, the, the allegations they are facing should be known. The Zambians already know. We just want an official statement from you. We want an official statement from you. And like my colleague said, if SEC is not ready to name them, let the president demonstrate his political will to fight corruption by naming those of his appointees. <laughs> Way to put the president in an awkward position. Ah, I think uh, politics is like you really need to be ready to be put in awkward positions and yeah, uh, <laughs> to be reduced, to be made to look like a fool somehow every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. We've been abused. Yeah. These are not even the right people to be saying this thing. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, <laughs> should we really begin to mention, I can see a minister there whose seat is vacant right now, uh, or, or he's back in parliament, but... Yeah, yeah, but anyway, uh, what? So yes, MP, I would love MP, to know... MP, not minister, MP. Yeah. Okay, uh, former minister. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love for to. I would love to hear those names. Mm. Uh, I mean, what the the acting is she the the acting director general, deputy director general? Uh, what she's saying to me, I mean, it's just like saving face, you know. Mm. Yeah, it's not making a lot of sense. Mm. Uh, saying that no, we can't name them because the, the will jeopardize our investigations. Because of course of, we shouldn't forget that we have some officials that we already know. Have we the had Solicitor General has uh, been have we had uh, a situation where names were mentioned where government officials are, officials are being investigated? By the SEC? Yeah. Yes, of course they mentioned the uh, Marshal Mujen, the, the Solicitor General. Oh yeah. Even in the past we've had that. Actually, a few times though. It was a bit of a dumb question to ask, but <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Yeah, so they mentioned Marshall Mujende. Uh who else did they mention? They mentioned uh oh, the names, Zambian names. Yeah, but anyway, mm-hmm. the fact that the cover from the SEC uh ex commissioner mm-hmm. uh, on the board, uh he named names. Yeah. Yeah, and the SEC confirmed one of them was the solicitor general Marshall Mujen, the who's later sued them. Mm. I can't wait for to, defamation of character. <laughs> yes, I can't wait to see what will happen in the court. Mm. Uh, because I'm sure it will take them on. Yeah. This is not a Chiratukuta situation where he's saying, no, but I recruited to buy Yeah. Yeah. These are people who provide the information. Mm. So I'm looking forward to that case uh, between Marshall Mujen and the Kaba. I hope it comes up. Yeah. yeah. So, good confusion. Yeah. Not that we don't want their names. So I was just saying that you know the fact that I don't like Mutoto uh, Kafuaya or uh, who's the other guy that you talked about, Brian Mundu. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. It does not mean that uh, I can't agree with something that they are saying if it's true. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying also they are the wrong people. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are definitely the wrong people to tell us this. And on a sad note, the IBA Director General was killed. Last week, uh, Mr. Guntila Mulea, his body was found uh, with two gunshot wounds, one in the head and one in the back. This is, uh, reports are saying the suspects arrested, there are four suspects that have been arrested, three police officers as well as a civilian who was hired to do the work and also subcontracted the police officers along with the uh, their arrests were also a, a few things recovered, some money, 
uh, a vehicle, I believe a Pajero, and some weapons. They say a whole stash of knives. Uh, so apparently he was abducted, not because they wanted to kill him, but to break his legs. This is a report that was was given. Uh, of course, there's more information that will come later on, but they wanted to break his legs. And unfortunately, he recognized one of the officers, so they decided to kill him and abandon his body. So this was a sad occurrence. Also, it is rumored that it was in an inside job within the IBA. It's interesting because uh, this is a high-profile murder. Uh, of course, it's very sad. Mm. Uh, it's uh, something that is... Uh, I would love to know why they did it. Mm. Yeah, because it's... Um... Yeah, so apparently when he was appointed mm -hmm. director of, of, of the IBA, mm -hmm. he immediately began investigations in s certain things that were inconsistent within the the authority. Really? Yeah, so he began some probes, some investigations. It's like there's a way people were operating naturally there, mm -hmm. but he began investigations... Oh, in the IBA too. Within the IBA. Okay. So it's like there were some... Uh, elements within the IBA mm -hmm. that wanted to kind of just take him out of the way, not by killing him, but by breaking his legs. Him. Yeah, and oh, okay, and he's also just uh, he's been there like two months. Yeah, just for a very short time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now it makes sense because I also saw some clips from the because he's been since put to rest. Yes, yeah, he was put to rest on Sunday. Yeah, I believe yes. Saturday, uh, Saturday, 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 Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Mm. So. I saw uh, some a tribute from Mr. Muito. Mm. Yeah, and he spoke about we knew what he stood for, and he was almost saying we know that uh, he's been taken. Uh, that's not what he said. Mm, he but was he was, saying, uh, yeah, it was implicit. Said, yeah, like he's been taken because of some of the things that he stood for, even at the IBA. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's quite interesting, very unusual actually in Zambia that we had that. Yeah, it's it's yeah. A, it's extremely unusual. There must have been something really serious going on at the IBA, something really serious, yeah. which warrants further investigation, even from the police, yeah, the true. ACC, the DEC. Guys, direct your resources towards such things, yeah. rather than yeah. politically exactly. directing your resources. Yeah, you know this case also shows us that eh, in Zambia we've got eh, my detective, my cops, Abunobui. You've yeah. seen how fast they're getting. Oh yeah, to oh yeah, oh yeah. That told me I was actually very impressed. That yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah, this is something that we I've actually have done, people friend. who have the skill. Yes. Yeah. Myself, I've very, I've known this for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, we meet them. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we interact with them. Yeah. Sometimes there are issues, and you have to meet a detective. Yeah. yeah so Kudos we'll to the police guys. We are so grateful that you're doing your work. Yes. And we appreciate you. Exactly. So me, what I wanted to say is that let's not only work hard when it's a high profile case. Yes. Let's be professional. Let's work hard every time. Let's work hard every time. Yeah. Let's not also allow politicians to keep using us. That's a tough well, that's a uh a tall order for them, I know, mm. because they get instructions and all those things. Mm. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, look at the way the police were abused under the PF. Mm. Now they are abused, being abused by the UPND mm. to trample on the <laughs> PF. In different fashion. <laughs> exactly. Mm. <laughs> yeah. so. Same two different views. Mm. Yeah. So Mr. Kawana, uh, Tabu Kawana, did, of course, make uh, give some remarks on the same issue. Mm. Uh, talked about how investigations are going on and we do expect to see further information given to us. Check it out. The police are working around the clock to bring the culprits to book. And in the process, the police will also be able to interview uh, some of us just to help with investigations. But some may not be interviewed. And therefore, it is a clarion call on all of us that if we have information that we feel can be helpful towards the investigations, we must be able to feel free to approach the police we have numbers for the police dealing with this matter, and the numbers will be circulated via emails for you to be able to pass on any iota of information that you may feel can be helpful during the course of this investigation. Remember, the police are here to help us. They're here to find justice. And a word of assurance from the president that no stone will be left unturned and law enforcement agencies will ensure that culprits are brought to book. By the way, this was before the before we had the information that there were some suspects that were cornered, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So this Tawakawa was just telling us that 
the police right now is working. Yes, well, of course, right. which which we have also testified to exactly. say, ah, no, indeed they are working. Yeah. And uh, speaking of the police working, Commander Two, <laughs> <America. laughs> Kada has been arrested, charged with three years uh, in prison with hard labor, or should I say he has been sentenced with three years in prison with hard labor, Mr. Francis Muchemwa, uh, whose alias is Commander Two, the... The charges were that he was uh, in possession of properties that were suspected, I guess now confirmed to be proceeds of crime, amounting to about 11 million kwacha, with no record of work or no known source of income. <laughs> yeah, so he has been arrested. He has been jailed. Uh, we're about to show you his statement just before, just after his, just before his sentencing, rather, and it was so funny because he's saying, am I not smiling? I was like, <laughs> I'm always smiling. <laughs> am I not smiling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was quite afraid. <laughs> Check it out. But are you ready? <laughs> the same you can see. Am I not smiling? Yeah. So I'm good. So I'm ready for a judgment. It's the moment that comes to everyone in life. So you have to accept such that comes away. So that's why we are right now. <laughs> he's good. <laughs> no, he's good. <laughs> yeah. Serious. Yeah, by the way, this is like, uh, and it's unfortunate because we thought the UPN just spoke about, you know, corruption and there's been past corruption. Mm. We're going to deal with these criminals and blah, 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 blah. And to have like almost the highest profile PF member who's been convicted mm. for corrupt practices and something like money laundering. It's interesting to have this one as the highest profile. Mm. This guy was uh, just a card, yeah. so to say. Uh, I know that we try to use the word card here for the for what it means, mm. but now I mean the card that's which we, the other card. Mm. It was just a card. She was just a card. Yes, card. In fact, yeah. there was a reason. There was, why was that's why they, yeah, there was exactly. an America one. There was an America uh, you know? No, not quite. Uh, there was a guy called, I don't know if he's still there. I'm sure he's still alive, though. A guy called Eddie Gore. Oh, I always assumed uh, Kalimansho was America one because he had a Ford Ranger. That was so oh. badly destroyed that uh, oh, they so even poured sand, in, they poured sand into the fuel tank. Uh, oh, yeah. Kwa I'm Malaysian, I'm American. <laughs> then there was command. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> but these are Malaysians, very connected. I'm going to group your Malaysians. But not Mulsa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My Russians now West Copara, but couldn't get from Americans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there was a guy called Eddie Goa uh, at Intercity. Yeah. Oh, not at Intercity, though. Sorry, at. Uh, at uh, do, 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 do. Yes, at Intercity. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Then this one. City uh, Market? Yes, this one was at City Market. Oh, this one was at City Market. Yes. Mm. yes. If you go to his office at City Market, this one, the time that PF was in power. Mm. Hey, the minister from <laughs> City Market, not at Nakum. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's good that we are seeing this. Mm. I mean, uh, people should be, we should be used to hard work. Mm. As Mr. Kawana says, brought to book. Yes. Timokumba Jina With no known hey. source of income. Hey. So, like honestly speaking, how do you have a million eleven million kwacha with no imagine known income? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, this is one of the people was getting a salary from Zesco. Yeah. Yeah. Him and uh, an unmentioned artist. <laughs> yeah, we went for other convictions. Uh, during, during Dante Crisis time, allegedly, we had no yeah. load shedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, it's good that this has happened. Uh, I hope that this will be a deterrent. We hope to see more of this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Was this his wife crying? I don't know, but those, those should be his relatives. Yeah, we have his relatives who bitterly complained about his arrest they were not smiling like him yeah, i I, so I still cool. i'm still happy about or rather mm. amused by that video can't you see i'm smiling <laughs> i'm always smiling <laughs> i'm always smiling no i know i'm Am about I to be sentenced. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know i'm about to be sentenced but <laughs> yeah it's bad <laughs> it comes for everyone mm. yeah, no no sir it doesn't come for everyone <laughs> 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 it comes for every american yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, uh his relatives Oh, 
By the way, sorry, there was one point I, I forgot to mention. Mm. This is a guy who, uh, there was a fracas in uh, Sesheke. There was a by-election. Mm. And then uh, PF cadres went in and they were at a lodge and they had some weapons. Mm. Those pangas, machetes and everything. And then the police got wind of this. And uh, their, com- their commander that they are, com- I don't know, they are, the one who was heading the, the operation mm. with Shapa Wakumuma. You know Shapa Wakumuma? Yes. That's how we knew of Shapa Wakumuma. Mm. Because of this guy. Oh. So this guy and his group went to camp at the lodge. Shapa Wakumuma said, okay, these are in the ruling party, but let's show them that we are the police. Mm. Took his men there and they were beaten mercilessly. Hmm. We saw pictures of this guy looking like I don't know. <laughs> pizza matic. He had changed. Oh, at least on a positive note, his wounds are healed. Yeah, thank thank, thank God. Yeah. Yeah. After that, the police were fired for beating cadres with pangas. <laughs> including Shapa <laughs> Yeah, that's sad. That's yeah. this is Africa, this is Zambia. Uh yeah. Now the chickens have come home to roost. <laughs> I like how they store up cases in Zambia. Like they just keep it for an appropriate time. Mm. Now that we've seen the corruption being laid bare, we need a destruction. Mm-hmm. Someone to be jailed. <laughs> oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah. So I told you on Amazing Minds we piece one and two today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, of, for, this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, don't worry, bro. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, on a funny note, Unza student, medical student, has been uh, apprehended by the police for staging a fake abduction. This, um, what was his name again? Zacchaeus. Uh, oh my goodness, I don't have it here. Anyway. Uh, should, I, should I check it out? You, I, I don't think you have it there either. I have it. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, where, where his name is, yeah, is mentioned. I don't have it. Yeah, so this, this, this first year medical student, uh, Arranged to be abducted so that... I don't even deserve to be known. I know. Someone he's... who's trying to extort the parents. <laughs> we he, all try to do, but... He, his I name, is, like his name is Anonymous. At least we just talked about atoms and photosynthesis, <laughs> but this guy... <laughs> no, and let me not say much. Uh, I know. My Lest, dad might be watching this. Let's say, ah, <laughs> so that's what you did. <laughs> yeah, so this gentleman um, was given money which he squandered or used on gambling the boy and oh boy so he used it on gambling and was trying to recover said money from his father by arranging to be abducted and calling his father for a ransom now interesting is how they arranged the whole thing how what he told the gentlemen who were going to be tipped afterwards to do to shout <laughs> yeah, you know, I can also imagine ne, on the part of the pass number not. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can almost imagine what the father was going through because the father is the one who went to report the police in Kafue. Eh? Yeah, father is just forty one years old. Oh, he's just forty one. Yes. Oh, young man. Yeah, yeah. So he went to report, and then I can just imagine after he reported, very worried, of course, until they found out. And this is another. This is another thing that shows you that the police are actually working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, 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 because yes. The father went and reported, and only had the video and the cause. But they managed to locate and to make sure that this one was a, a state. <laughs> okay, you need to you need to know that the police work in Zambia. Yeah, don't just do funny stuff. Exactly. So yeah. I can imagine what the father was going through after going through that um, mental breakdown, probably, mm. and then now finding out that actually no. It, so it's not true. That's the thing about having kids too early. They become your friends. At some point, they think, I'm unfair. Because he probably had this kid at 20, if he's 41 years old, or 21. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> they have grown up together, so they think they are yeah, homies. Yeah. <laughs> so he has the audacity to do such a thing to his father. How do you do that? Yeah, well, imagine. Yeah, and say it video. What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? the name? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? 
And then about Gambati. So I prevent that she does a panga to an instant kidnap. He was alone. He was alone, yes. Mm-hmm. What's happening over five minutes? Mom is an avid, and then I'm present avid. And then about Gambati. So he mums just a pretend as if he mums a kidnap. And then you'll be whipping me, Kunuzat, Nipassin, Bassin Nankan, Bassinam. And then in Zambopun, Montana Manzi, and then all this, and then drama was in Ding. And drama was in Ding, and then Zapos and drama, then I'll give you some shares. Bara, Tia, Bara, Monona Bari. Yamba is on Pundia. Bassinam. Bassinam. What's for a Passanam? What's for a Passanam? Well, one daughter. Unanam, Unanam. Unanam Barat. So Punda. I know that the nose are already up and pass the food. Pass the food and put the name. Pass the food and pass the food. Okay. No one can't get the food. No one can't get the Oh, so from the number? Eh, hey, oh, ni nchot nchat to tai chai. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually good actors. Huh? Yeah, they're good actors. You know, it's the yeah, use of the word. The, the boy. The... He was weeping. Oh, yeah, the one who was weeping. Was, there was a couple of his one, but wow. Eh, the, the, uses of, the usage of the word nut yeah. was a funny part for me. Ne pass a number nut. So from the number? Eh, so from the pass a number. You were data phone. <laughs> and the one who was asking questions also in the background. Because yeah. the guy was so eager to explain the story, you know. No, it was the police. Oh, it was the police, eh? What's the idea of Mumisha? Ah, it's a bit of a joke, I'm busy. Yeah, I'm not going to pray. I'm not going to pray for the drama, I'm sure. Oh, by then, Nishibawa. Yeah. So were the guys also arrested? Do you think it, it was? Yes, in Mulan, dude. In Mulan, right? So all, all of them all inside? All of them are culpable, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's only then to a fan, so they will find some lineage. Oh, yeah, the report actually said juveniles. Yeah. 18-year-old juveniles. Because there was a 17 year old and an 18 year old. The oldest there was a 20 year old, actually. The same one, yeah. that one who thinks he's friends with the father. <laughs> Foolish. That's <laughs> oh, yeah, and Magnet came to his defense. No. Who is Magnet? Some guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as we mentioned earlier, the president has made some ministerial changes uh, pursuant to Article 92, uh, Section 1 of the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia. He has transferred Honorable Sylvia T. Masebo, MP, to the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, and Honorable Elijah Mchima, MP, to the Ministry of Health with immediate effect. Honorable Muchima, who has been transferred to the Ministry of Health, says that he is very capable of handling this job hmm. and that he is confident. Which statement Sylvia Masebo was not too happy with? We're not going to show you the video now, actually, We'll give it to you as the last video mm -hmm. because she was quite angry. I don't know if we'll be able to continue the show after seeing such anger. She was visibly <laughs> annoyed. We need to go after that video. <laughs> I know. We need to go after showing that. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I, I saw a lot of people relating her anger or her reaction that day to the, 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 the demotion, so to say. Yeah, I, I do think I have a comment to make on that, actually. Mm, okay. I think... From what we hear mm -hmm. in the grapevine, mm -hmm. um, Prophet Sichilema and whatnot, I think there's, <laughs> there's, uh, if you want to know Prophet Sichilema, just watch our last show. Our last show. Uh, I, there's, it's rumored that the Zamsa um, DG mm -hmm. was bribed with a certain amount, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, which is less mm -hmm. than what Sylvia Masse was offered. So Sylvia Masebo was, it's rumored, this is all alleged entertainment purposes, that mm -hmm. she was offered a bribe mm -hmm. and she refused. Therefore, the said supplier that I told you of earlier mm -hmm. connived with the Zamsa DG to hide for a certain lesser bribe. Now, I believe she's angry because she refused the bribe, <laughs> but she's still been transferred. <laughs> I don't know what's so special about the Ministry of Health that she's so upset. I thought the Ministry of Lands would be better. Ah, uh, why? That's more like a demotion. It is? You think so? Yeah, of course it is. Why? Because the government doesn't have land anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to <laughs> anyway? Uh, let's not look at these things as a personal for personal benefit. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. why these people are in the astray. Exactly. Yeah. To me, I think that I've said this. I've said this a lot of times. Uh, people like Sylvia Masewa, they shouldn't have been anywhere in the corridors of leadership. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen what Sylvia Masewa has done. Mm. She was the Minister of Health before this mm. in the PF government. Is it the, the MMD government? She was the Minister of uh, uh, Health. 
Was it MMD? Yes. And when uh, she had a scandal, actually. That was branch two was was she no, was she was no MMD, but branch two and walk my face there. Yeah. Also, he was fired and. Oh, no, anyway, we don't know. I think branch two was uh, branch two was time here. Monawa said. Monawa. Also, she was Arabi, right? Yeah, I think that she okay. was Arabi. Okay. I, I, and then she was. Uh, she Mr. Had Boys scandal. and Banda. She has a scandal. She had a scandal with health ministry. Mm. Yes. And then during Sata, she was at uh, at uh, Ministry of Tourism. Mm. There were issues there. Mm. So now, why should you think that that same thing? I know. No, there are some people that there are some people for whom it seems they don't have anything else to do apart from having a government job. It's like uh, what's his name? The the Kaunda, the 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 one who was transferred to Malawi as a <laughs> like. Yeah, there's nothing more he can do. It seems neither is there any source of income for him apart from feeding from the government. And I think this because the man grew up in state house. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, speaking of Sylvia Masebo, there was confusion at the, those cholera volunteers, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, there was confusion at the uh, Ndeke. This is Ndeke House, right? Yeah. Uh, Ndeke, Ndeke, Ndeke House yes. is Ndeke House. Isn't that State House? No, Ndeke House is uh, in. Uh, it's near oh, that's in Kwazi. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Ndeke House is yeah. Okay, so near the Zaf, uh, the Zaf headquarters. Yeah, you know that place. Yes, I do. I yeah. do. So this whole confusion began with the president promising jobs or saying that every volunteer should be given mm -hmm. a permanent job, as you will see in this video here. Some people choose to stand in the way of danger when others scamper. I know this from politics. During our difficult times, others couldn't even see me. Just to come and visit me in Mukobeko, they were scared they may be thrown in there. So some people run away, others fight. So for, to all the volunteers, all the volunteers, without exception, different categories. I know in the ministry, we recruit health workers. So since we took office in an orderly way, we have been making sure that we bring in the patient to medical staff ratio down by employing more medical staff, dedicated staff, as we are doing for teachers, as we are doing for teachers, as we are doing for agriculture workers, as we are doing elsewhere, and other colleagues, ministries, ministers, because some of the general workers category here can be absorbed elsewhere, right? So within the orderliness that we have exhibited since we took public office, within the budgetary co constraints, and to couple that with natural attrition, because every organization, people exit, sometimes we lose them, lose the, them by way of death, some resign, some retire. By these measures, the combination of these measures, I'm directing that all the volunteers should be given permanent employment. Yeah, so after that promise of jobs or assurance of jobs from the head of state himself, uh, there seemed to be issues once these people began to pursue these jobs, as you will see from the volunteers here. After one month, if president yeah, so that was uh, the expression of displeasure from the volunteers who were promised jobs but were now being told my all stories. these uh, <laughs> my stories. <laughs> there's, some, so, there's some Kamani I'm waiting for, and then I clear you. So, HH has been making promises in opposition that clearly is failed to fulfill. Mm. And even as president, he's been making promises, promises that is failed to fulfill. I mean, what kind of... Uh, There's a name that I was about to call him, but I don't think he, he likes it, so... Much promise. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was, I was, I was, I was interacting with with some guy somewhere. He's, yeah. he's a taxi driver, uh, yeah. and he was just so he was speaking like that's his name. Ah, you know, she promise. 
<laughs> you yeah. know, I was also funny enough. I was yeah. also with the cab driver. Yeah. Just two days ago. Yeah. And then we were talking about these things, and uh, he was like, ah. These and I was like, what's your promise? And then he passed it down. Ah, cash name, what can you I mean, you're, are you the one who originated this name? No, 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 yeah, no, no. So, no, no. we already know what is being called. Cash By promise. the way, uh, shout out to Mr. Piri if you're watching this. I know you are a true supporter. Thank you so much. Yeah, shout out, Mr. Piri. Yeah. And my friend Charles Bruce again. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, we have not neglected your comments. Uh, we shall. <laughs> Get back to you in due time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did I already give the response of Miss Masebo? Not yet, eh? No. Uh, no. Miss Masebo's response, is it Miss, Mrs., uh, former Minister of Health, mm. Sylvia Masebo's response to mm. the said? Yeah, by the way, people might be asking, why is she the one who's dealing with this? Apparently because she was the one who dealt with it that time. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, because she's the one who knows your cases, (laughs) as she angrily says. I'm the (laughs) one who knows your... In fact, I will not allow you to stress the new minister. (laughs) But Minister goes, "Ah, ah, ah." no, let me tell them. Who was that who was tapping her? It was the the Mr. Minister. It's a new minister. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, calm down. I need to talk. (laughs) I need to talk. Don't preempt it, man. Don't preempt. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll see it. Yeah, so her response to the volunteers. You remember that I said, if you were working in a center, you were checking in and checking out. Because those instructions were given to all the centers. So we cannot start a new discussion here because we went through this last meet- meeting. So we know what we are talking about. So if you yourself, you know, I worked in a center and even all this time your name was called. You can't come today to talk about a category. It means you are part of that arrangement. See, what I got is that because, was, of course, it was a long thing. What I got is that uh, there were, she was saying that there are some people who might be employed on contract basis and blah, blah, blah. Mm, I think yeah. that was the and issue, actually. The, 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 the idea that the president said permanent. Mm, yes. Then there yeah. was the issue of contracts. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah poly- but just to, to be clear, these people have not been employed yet in the government. Not even on contract. No, they are not. Yeah, so that's where things stand. Uh, parliament has declared another seat vacant. Kawamba, uh, member of parliament, Mr. Nixon Chilangwa's seat has been declared vacant because he he was arrested. Uh, so him, along with, um, uh, is it Rana Chitatela, were mm-hmm. arrested for arson and yeah. uh, malicious mm-hmm. damage to Should property. For others. Yes, and four others. Um, particularly, these two are the ones who, whose seats have um, no, are no. in jeopardy, right? Yeah. The, Mr. 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 Mm. Chitotela is still pending judgment. Yeah. Uh, his seat is under threat. Mm. But this uh, gentleman, Mr. Chilangwa, who was sentenced to five years for malicious damage to property, the said ministers were trying to impress the former president. So they decided to burn UPND vehicles on video. Yeah, during uh, the past elections. What does that? Do? As Mr. Shimumbi says, uh, these are the kind of leaders. Oh, oh, honestly, that... Manamumbi, <laughs> what does that? <laughs> this is the caliber of leaders we've had, man. I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we had a member of parliament, a Luena member of parliament, Anakoka, who rose on a point of order. Mm. Uh, to, uh, just like Mwetra did last time, you remember? Yes. Yeah, so she, he rose on a point of order asking the speaker of the land. Now it's good that we had the actual speaker. The actual speaker. To say is the, 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 are the guys who've been convicted in order to be in the house. Because of course we know about the constitution which says if you're convicted, you lose your seat. Mm. But then it also sp- speaks about which, as we are going to hear from the, anyway, maybe we should, we should hear from the, the Anakoka himself. Okay, yeah. Mr. Anakoka. Are the two honorable members of parliament in order to continue representing the good people of Kawamba and Pambashia, respectively, in this august house. Madam Speaker, I seek your very serious ruling yeah, on this constitutional yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So uh, the, the Speaker responded, and she declared the seat vacant. Mm. Yeah, and to me, I'm thinking that uh, maybe there's, <clears throat> there's a part that she ignored, because uh, someone can appeal. Yeah, and if they appeal, you don't have to, you you have to put the, like, you can't declare the seat vacant. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, if they are found wanting and they go to prison, then it's unfortunate. Yeah. It's unfortunate, yeah. But this also tells you that uh, by-elections are a necessity. 
Mm. Yeah, because in this case, what do you expect going forward? In case it doesn't appeal, mm. go for a by elections, no mm. matter how expensive. Within 90 days, according to the law, there yeah. should be a by election, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so the yeah. speakers. But I'm feeling like you appeal. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know the confusion that will come. It will be interesting mm. because the speaker has already said the, the seat has been declared vacant. But of course, you've hit the speaker before last No, time. but he, isn't he in jail? He is. Mm. But he can appeal, Kaidi. Okay? Wow, in jail? Yes. Oh. And as for police bond, is it police bond or bail? Bail, yeah. And come out. Yeah, bail pending application of uh, whatever. Mm. Of um, bail pending appeal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even Muchemwa can do that. Are you talking about appealing to the court over his... Yes. His okay, so you're not talking about... Okay, I understand yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, the speaker's response. The Honorable Member for Luena has raised a point of order concerning the status of Honorable Ronald Ka Kaoma Chitotela and Nixon, Honorable Nixon Chilangwa. Article 72 2B of the Constitution provides for a seat in the National Assembly to four vacant when the member of parliament is serving a prison sentence. Once a member of parliament is convicted and sentenced for an offense, that member immediately ceases to hold office as a member of parliament. Therefore, in the case of Nixon Chilangwa MP, his seat became vacant as soon as he was sentenced to imprisonment for five years. That was the speaker's response, of course, uh, declaring the seat vacant. And now after that, there was a back and forth. Mm -hmm. With uh, Lunte MP, yeah. uh, Muteote Kafuaya, who's a PF MP, of course. Uh, so he was insist. I think the gist is that uh, this guy, Anakoka, this MP, a Luena MP, he stood on a point of order. Uh, I'm avoiding calling them a guy because someone said, no, he's the honorable Shansha. No, yeah. he's President Shansha. No, on your podcast. <laughs> yeah, you can do yeah. it on your podcast. So this guy, the Luena MP, uh -huh. <laughs> after he stood on a point of order, the speaker gave out a detailed response. Yes. Even quoting the constitution and everything. Yes. So Lunte MP thought uh, the speaker already had that ruling. So the guy who was asking the Luena MP already knew that the speaker had this ruling. Mm, and was privy to it. Exactly. Mm. So that's what he was talking about. And then now there was a heated back and forth until Azu here Palasi, he was suspended for seven but, days. Yeah, no, the speaker wasn't happy. Uh, <laughs> At least she didn't go to the extent of uh, one Sylvia Masebo, but she, she, she wasn't happy. She asked <laughs> no, for at least she's, she's, uh, She was very cordial and very yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, respectful and very composed, yeah. but she asked for an apology. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Although, and he, he, he went on, do you know the funny thing about the back and forth? Mm. She asked for an apology. Mm. He went on to apologize to the, other, to the guy. other guy and he said, no, you accused <laughs> me. To me. Yeah. And then he <laughs> went on to still, I know, and he still went on to apologize to the other guy and she said, okay, you have been suspended. With you. <laughs> I'm, I'm naming you. <laughs> I'm naming you. <laughs> that yeah. Was so, that was typical women behavior. I know. <laughs> no. Apologize to me. Apo apologize. Apologize. Apologize to me yeah so you you do check out the video madam speaker when i rise here as i have done now mm -hmm. for a point of order uh -huh. there is no way i can know the ruling which you already have mm -hmm. that team mp rose on a point of order <laughs> for which you have a detailed ruling, Madam Speaker. How did he know that you have that ruling? I seek your serious ruling on this matter, Madam Speaker. Honorable Member for... Honorable Member for Lunte, you are completely out of order. Huh? When a point of order... You, do you think the presiding officers just walk in here without preparing? We prepare and we do things in anticipation. So, so how can you draw imputations that uh, the honorable member for Luena knew what the ruling was? Did you know what the ruling was? So, so why are you making those insinuations? Or the honorable member for Lunte will withdraw the, the, that point of order that he has raised.
because it won't be sufficient for me to rule, to rule you out of order. You must as well withdraw that point of order and apologize. Madam Speaker, you, you have tendered the ruling. Will I withdraw your ruling too? Uh, the Speaker has tendered the ruling. I'm clarifying with her, not with you. Honorable okay. Member for Lunte, you've been guided. Withdraw and apologize. To, to Honorable Anakoka, Madam. Uh, Honorable Anakoka, let me, uh, as directed by... You are I'm not speaking. apologizing to the Honorable Anakoka. You are drawing imputations on me, on my standing as a presiding officer, sitting here that I told Honorable Anakoka what the ruling was. Did I even no. see Honorable Anakoka today? Then you missed my point of order, madam. Yes. Yes. If that's your interpretation... Okay, oh, withdraw and apologize. <laughs> Honorable Anakoka, let me apologize to you that... You order, Honorable Member for Lunte, I'm naming you. You've been suspended from the safes of the Assembly for a period of seven sitting days. Yeah, we have come to the end of the show. Yeah, surprisingly. That's interesting, huh? that's interesting in Parliament. It, it was very interesting. Uh, funny. Yeah, very, funny. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. What did you think about the show? The show was good. I enjoyed myself. You did? Uh, quite long. Oh, yeah. Quite a long show. I, I'm wondering, how long will this show be? Two hours? How long will, How long have we done? Yeah, I think one hour, one hour 15. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. So uh, the time you have all been waiting for has come. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> yeah, the time we have all been waiting for. By the way, please do subscribe, hit the bell and share. Uh, show is available twice a week. Wednesday, Scott decides, 22 hours Central African time and 20 hours for the podcast on Spotify. Yeah, so... To leave you, we're going to leave you with this video which might stir up our emotions. So we <laughs> decided to watch it as the last thing. <laughs> but yeah, please do subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. I'm the only one who knows your story. And I'm no longer in the Ministry of Health. And when I leave today, I'll leave to the new minister who doesn't know your story. Instead of using this opportunity to solve these problems, you want to bring policies. It will not change anything. It will not change anything. Let me tell you now. So let me have quiet. Don't think you can come here like a good man. You think you can come here and stand with this baby? And let me tell you something. Mr. Investor Manini, Minister of Health, why to wait for the Minister of Health? You have to be prepared. You can't go and wait in the hospital the way I've seen the behavior of one of you. I cannot oh. myself even recommend some of you. So please, don't get smart. And don't think you can come here to address me here. When I'm trying to work for you, don't. You are using a wrong person and you are using a wrong method. Like a good man, I think you don't know me. Don't come here to make noise. Don't come here and make noise. We are here to resolve a matter. And it's not the constitutional right because the president said that. So don't come here to be in this means. And you want to go and work in a hospital in this place. No, 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 no. You will not be. You will not be. No. Allow me to go to them. I think it's important. This, this behavior where you think you can hold leaders as if we are fools we are not thinking, is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. So if you have been sent here to create confusion, we will not accept it. And I will not take any more questions from you. And I will not wait to allow the new minister to be abused. No. No. Don't think you are clever than all of us. Just nonsense. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao!